prime numbers are numbers larger than 1 and only divisible by 1 and themselves. In order for the RSA encryption system to be practically usable, the generation of prime numbers must be efficient, even when the prime numbers involved are large with sizes in the order of thousands of bits. One approach to generating large prime numbers is to randomly sample an odd number of an appropriate size and to then test whether this number is prime. This process is repeated until the test for the number to be prime succeeds. Various primality tests now exist, with one of the most popular primality tests to be the Miller-Rabin primality test defined by Michael Rabin in 1977, which is a probabilistic adoption of a deterministic primality test defined by Gary Miller in 1976. The original algorithm can be found in Rabin's 1977 publication in chapter 2. However, this original algorithm is quite verbose and an equivalent, but more concise and more modern rephrasing of the algorithm can, for example, be found on Wikipedia. In chapter 6 of the Wikipedia site, we see how the driver for the generation of prime numbers really is just a repeated sampling of odd numbers with a subsequent test for primality. The actual Miller-Rabin primality test can then be found in chapter 3, which outlines that the candidate prime n first gets the factors of 2 extracted, with subsequently a series of numbers constructed, which have to lead to 1 or n minus 1 in case the candidate is prime. Importantly, in case such a 1 or n minus 1 is found, the candidate is really a prime in only just about 75% of the cases. So this test has a false positive rate of 25%, which is why this search for a 1 or n minus 1 is repeated k number of times, which allows to bring the false positive rate down to an arbitrary small margin. This is how the Miller-Rabin primality test works, and this is also how, for example, OpenSSL samples prime numbers by internally executing this search for 1 or n minus 1 64 times, and with it reducing the false positive probability down to a probability of 2 to the power of minus 128. A lot of beauty can be seen here. Let us now proceed to the demonstration of how I used this Miller-Rabin primality test to implement the generation of prime numbers in Python. The driver for generating a prime number of the desired bit length really is just a loop starting with randomly sampling a bit string of the required length and then checking that the randomly sampled value is odd and lies in the appropriate range of values. The random sampling I again created to work against the OSU random library function. Once such a value is found, the driver then proceeds to asking the Miller-Rabin primality test if the sampled value is prime. Here, I decided to emulate OpenSSL, 
which has the Miller Rabin test be executed 64 times to lower the probability of a false positive down to 2 to the power of minus 128. With this, the driver was written and the Miller Rabin primality test was next to implement. First, the candidate prime, now given as variable n, needs to have the powers of 2 extracted, which I delegated to a yet to be implemented function, returning the power of 2 and the remaining cofactor in R and D. Then the loop of k round starts and a random value a is sampled, used to initialize the first point x in the series of the search for a1 or n minus 1. If this point is 1 or n minus 1, then the candidate prime n is a prime with probability 75%. And I could proceed to re-execute the loop in order to conduct another check and in order to reduce the probability of a false positive. Otherwise, the search for n minus 1 continues by repeatedly squaring our point x. Once n minus 1 is found, the loop has to be re-executed to lower the probability of a false positive. If neither 1 or n-1 is found, then the candidate is composite, which is indicated to the driver by returning false. Once all k rounds are executed and the candidate was never found to be composite, the miller rabin primality test succeeds and returns true back to the driver. The function left to implement in order to complete this implementation of the miller rabin primality test was the function extracting the powers of 2. The power of 2 is 0 and the cofactor of the value n itself, unless the value is even which allows us to increment the power and to reduce the cofactor by dividing it by 2. Once this reaches 0 or an odd number, the power of 2 and the cofactor were found, which completed the implementation of the generation of prime numbers based on the Miller-Rabin primality test. <laughs>